People are celebrating the athletes. Some of the Olympic Games couldn't be done without a team of people preparing the ice and the slopes. That team includes a Fargo man. The Valley Today's Christy Larson is joining us live this morning with more on his efforts on the curling rink. Hi, Christy. Good morning, guys. Yeah, you said it. You know, a lot of those Olympians are looking for the perfect ice for their best chance at a medal, and that's exactly what one Fargo man is doing in Pyeongchang. I do a lot of work with USA Curling at national events and uh, let the right people know I was interested. And when it came time to apply, chatted with the right people and was lucky enough to be invited. Sean Olson had to go through a tough application process to become an ice maker for curling at the Olympics. That entailed coming to Korea last year for the test event, which is the World Junior Championship. We were here in the same venue at the same time the same setup to make sure everything was perfect. He and a crew of about 20 people are fussy to make the perfect ice for the athletes every time. We uh, re-prepare the ice before every game. We got here a couple of weeks early, came into just a bare floor, started making ice on the s concrete. Then we, uh, you know, did all the circles and the paint and decorations, got everything perfectly flat and level, ready to play on. We'll cut it off in between games and reapply the pebble so they're on good fresh ice for each game. About three times a day we do that. But even though Sean's put in a lot of work, he's also gotten to appreciate the Olympics by attending the opening ceremony, watching a USA women's hockey game, and through South Korea's people. When we do get away, maybe go out to eat or something, just experiencing the culture and everybody's been great to be around. Uh, everybody's happy to see us. And, They've been taking really good care of us. It's It's been fun. Sean and the crew have been taking care of the ice so each team there can focus on their chance at a medal, a job he'll be thankful for for a lifetime. It's pretty amazing, you know, when, it, when you do realize where you're at and what you're doing. Now, guys, he actually said he wouldn't have been able to do it without the help of his wife and his daughter who are back here taking care of things at home. And he's a busy man. As soon as he gets home on Monday, he actually is then on Tuesday going to be making ice for the USA Curling National Championships here in Fargo. And then in the end of March, guys, he is off to Vegas for the World Men's Curling Championship. So he's a busy man. Well, clearly, he is good at what he does, too, because he's in demand. Christy Larson reporting live. Thank you.